When I was young, my brother and I built a boat with our father. We spent several years sailing and exploring the Patuxent River. And then I met Tony. Peter and I spent many happy times on that boat. And so when we got married, we built a larger boat and ventured out into the Chesapeake Bay and its many rivers. We crewed on larger boats with dreams of sailing the world, but then life took another turn. Today, we look forward to retirement with dreams of leaving it all behind. Come join us on our journey to sail the seas. Moments in Time has finished the lamination construction phase and is now completing the deck joining and will soon be in the assembly phase. We're really excited and we will share the latest construction photos at the end of this video. Stay tuned. We are on our way to the Annapolis Boat Show. Peter, did you hear some kind of buzzing going on in the back seat? I hear a gnat. Must be Monica. It's buzzing in my ear. We're going to an Annapolis <laughs> sailboat show. There's a big distinction. And I'm hoping to see the C-1170 and the Dragonfly 40 Trident And maybe I'll show Joseph the C-1212. And then we'll hook the tent. That's my problem. We are at 7-Eleven. Because dad won't stop at McDonald's for me. Give this video a thumbs down. No, no McDonald's. I'm not putting that in. <laughs> <clears throat> Everybody's getting coffee, holding me up. We have to hurry up, get to the boat show so I can wait and wait and wait to get in. The goal is to hit the sea winds up first, and then the rest of the day is free. Finally, we made it to the Naval Stadium, caught the shuttle bus, and now we're waiting about 30th in line. Now I can begin to relax and plot my strategy. I always plot my strategy using the boat show guide. I knew exactly where every exhibit was so I can beeline a trail to it. Once the gate was open, I plowed over women and children to get to the sea wind section so I can see the 1170. I really did not plow over women and children, but I thought about plowing over some of these slow pokes in front of me. Said, so why are we walking so fast? We'll be the first ones on, on these boats <laughs> before the line. Are you excited? I'm always excited at the boat show. Oh my God. I want to touch everything. It was hard not being distracted by all these beautiful boats and yachts. We were on a mission, and the C-1170 was coming into view. how high the freeboard sits up. This sits a whole lot taller, which means to collect a whole lot more windage. Uh, and it's flat here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show the uh, thing with, with the I rain. do like this. The rain catch it. This is Billy and Sierra from Tula's Endless Summer. This is their C-1170 hull number one, the first of its kind. We knew interest would be high, so I wanted to be on this boat first and get out of everybody's way as the crowds start to accumulate. The 1170 comes in a foot longer than the 1160, but the beam remains the same at 21 feet 4 inches. The layout is about the same, but there is significantly more headroom. The C-1170 is the bigger sister to the C-1160, or the little sister of the C-1370. I 
really like that the floor in the owner's cabin is level. There is no step down in the four peak. really notice the increase in headroom over the berths. Wow, the 1170 has an escape hatch. We were kind of rushing through because Cruising World wanted to do an interview. Why they wanted to do an interview as the crowds were gathering, I'll never know. Notice the two burner stove versus the traditional three burner stove that we see on the other seawinds. All seemed wider. I don't know if they were really wider or whether it was an illusion. There was a line for this boat all day, so I'm glad that we got on it first. I like the bunk, is, is what I really like about the 1170, the fact that you can get up and, and, and ease you down, you don't have to stand here, which is a big difference, it's just a, an ankle twister here. But the headroom, I don't know if I really care about the headroom, as you can see, I have uh, plenty of headroom. What I really like to know is the performance characteristics between the 1160, the 1170, and the 1260. The, what are we on? We're on the 1170. So the 1260 is a lighter boat. It has more sail area. Um, but I think this boat could take a load right back better and perform better with a higher load than the 1260. Being trimaran sailors, the Dragonfly 40 was one of the first boats Tony and I started looking at. So many memories for a trimaran. <laughs> All good? That's a nice bedroom. This boat is fast. All time ranch are fast. I stopped at this boat with mom and said, Look, this boat. Is there anything you want to say? It brings back memories. I mean, the barge has a type of sailing that we want to do in retirement. This, this boat did not fit to build. Is there so just, or not? Yes. But, Cool, and you can extend that to make the table bigger. I love it. fold up the long shot. There's air folds down the Like when you um, take it out of the water, you mean? No, you can fold this up right here. Why would you want to fold it up? Fit in a slip. These fold up? Just wow. Ah, the C-1260. Joseph has never saw this, so I wanted to take him aboard and kind of show him the boat.
This is Duet, a C-1260. We were supposed to charter this boat for a week in September, but it was getting repaired. This is a nice cup holder. I have to keep it in mind. This boat was optioned out similar to our boat moments in time, and we were excited to see how these options fit. We have never seen some of these options. This is the first sea wind that we were aboard that had the leather cushions. We've done multiple tours on the sea wind 1260. You can see that ankle twisting step right there in the forepeak. The cushions on each side of the bunk were also leather. In fact, all the cushions inside were leather once you chose the leather option. are now going down the starboard hull. This was also the first sea when we were ever on board that had the microwave option in from the factory as well. I love it. Our plate, big plates wouldn't fit anyway, so it's very small, but we got, we're getting microwavable specific things that we can use in there. And you're doing the vent too? Yeah, the air conditioning. Yep. Did you get the Show me the washer. Okay. It is stored under here. The double of them up. Peter, I got recognized. Yeah, that lady who was on the other boat and was measuring. She said, you're from uh, No Agenda. I said, yes. <laughs> Her name was Allison. It was nice to meet Notice the gray backstop behind the bunk. We noticed that in the owner's bunk as well. I think this is something new. We have fans in the bathroom, which is really nice. <laughs> Looks like a good place to nap. The trifold door was fully open, making the saloon and cockpit one big living area. This is a favorite trait of the Seamans. The only thing about the leather that I would be concerned about is people sitting on it and you're sweating and your sunscreen gets all over it, so you might, people might want to put a towel down. but. It will only get softer and more supple with time, and it's completely, you can wipe it. I think it's better than the fabrics. So you went with the leather? We went with the leather. This is the Monica Lounge. Sit down. It's hell wet. Where's the show of the pants? should be on top. Oh, they're comfy. <laughs> Did you get the cushions? Yes, we did. They're very comfy. But I'm gonna have to have a pillow behind me or two. <laughs> now what boat is that? Pillows might blow away. Well, we won't leave them out. If I'm coming out here in the evening for a sundowner, I'm bringing a pillow with me. <laughs> what about the bean bags? So are you guys gonna get no. the bean bags? No, because they're, it's just with these two, it's too much to store. Yeah. So. Every, 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 everything needs to be stowed properly on the boat. Otherwise, it doesn't belong on the boat. Yeah. This is the dolphin seat. No, That's but my it's spot. I wish we had these on uh, Shared Adventures. Yes. Because we had some dolphins. Soon I'll be on the boat with you guys. Mm, no. Not that soon. <laughs> I think it looks pretty soon. Yeah. 
I can show you around the world to all the places that I've been. Yeah. Listen, you're here. with Tommy. Like He's the man. So Tommy's real friends. <laughs> you, you've got the right company. That's all I can tell you. Can't wait. There you go. And um, the Bahamas was never say never. I, of course, somebody else could have named or wrote that. Well, you want to go check it out, see if it looks the same? I don't know. Dad would have to say, because that says Colorado on it. So. And it was never say never. Was it really? Yeah. Um, Did you do ASA training? Yes. That's this boat. Is it this boat? I bought it, I bought it from Thanks. Nautilus Sailing. Oh. This is <laughs> it. so cool. Yes. Very nice Sir. to meet you. I'm Rob. I'm Tony. I, I, love, I kept the name. I just bought it from Tim and uh, Tim recently, in the June. You spend a little time on the boat, and the boat becomes part of you. It was nice seeing Never Say Never again. Otherwise, you're walking. It was like we came home. home. So yeah. We'll be sailing in the Bahamas. We'll be in Zumas for seven days. It's nice to see her again. She's under new ownership, so it was nice. We've been right away. Reminisced a little bit, didn't we? Yes, it was very nice. Yeah, so. So cool. Well, these are small. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see them. They're small. They are very tiny. They are tiny. Not like what they were in Japan. You'll see one day if you sail there. Wow, that's a nice crab. This is a healthy burger. <laughs> What makes it healthy? It's on a brioche. <laughs> and I got healthy fish tacos. What makes it healthy? Fish in it. <laughs> Just ate lunch and now we're walking through the tents and the first thing I saw was a rescue boat. What was it? A rescue boat. Nice. That's what you call it. Lifeboat. Thank you. I'm a little concerned that Tony was spending a lot of time around these life rafts. This is where the impeller is. Royal dipstick. On board fuel filter. Ah, the Yanmar 29s. Who wouldn't want to take one or two home with them? Joseph, smile. Smile on the man. What are you buying, Mom? Not you. Steak dogs. Steak. You don't want that, right? Mom, um, how much is it? The all purpose one, I have it on sale for $150. Online is deep on That's a really good price for that one. Having a good time? Yes. Spending lots of money? Yes. <laughs> Cheers, moments in time. Moments in time, and I don't know what you're thinking, but I knew it on the radio. It's towards the end of the day of the boat show. How are you feeling? I'm getting tired. Yes, me too, but we just stopped in the We're tasting tent, so I feel energized. We're going to do the last lap through here, then hit one more tent, and I think we're looking for the shuttle. Awesome. It's been a great day, but I'm getting tired. Yes, but after the tasting tent, I feel really okay. so <laughs> rejuvenated. How do you feel? I'm fine. <laughs> We've been up since 6 a.m.? Yeah. What time have you been up? About 6 a.m. But it's been a good day. And on Thursdays, it's really nice because there really are a lot less people. And yes. it's nice not have to worry about being the, pushed off the dock. Yeah, it's on the crowd. One more look. One more green. I like this boat. Now that's a dream. That boat makes the 1260 look so small. I'm just the boat. Oh no, I'm not. Duet is Larry and Jocelyn's boat, and they really were very patient with us answering all our questions. I hope we didn't overstay our welcome. We think the next time we see a C-1260, it will be our boat, moments in time.
This is my wife, Tony. Hello, Tony and Nick. Oh and, uh, my goodness, so good to meet you. Nice. And this is my daughter. Hi, Hi. I'm Monica. Monica. And my brother. Hey, man. We're, uh, we're in the factory. Yeah, we'll Are we over? This we got one more tent. One more tent, and then we'll be done for today. It's been a good day. Have anything else? What? Have anything else to say? I think I've seen all that needs to be seen, and your mother's spent all that there is to be spent. <laughs> and more. How are you feeling about today? Good, it's been a wonderful day. Yeah? Yes. What'd you buy? My stuff for the boat. <laughs> okay, but what stuff? I got, we got log books. We got a lazy Susan that has a beach scene painted on it. We really need that right away. And we got steak knives that we have our boat name engraved on. Awesome. A couple other knives. All right, let's go. We have one more tent. How do you feel about today? Did you, did you get to see everything you wanted to? Through that? Yeah, my feet hurt. Tired. Ready to go? <laughs> what do you think of the boats? Boat's pretty cool. Especially my cabin. It's it's my cabin. Oh, I got the front cabin. You gotta have that little That's fine. Door is shit. Yours is closer to the toilet. That's good. <laughs> I don't want that. Aren't you from uh, Sailing No Agenda? Yes, we are. My God, can I have your autograph? <laughs> How about a kiss? <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that, a kiss from Admiral Tony. <laughs> we are officially leaving. It's the end of the boat show for us. It's been a good day. So, can't wait for the boat to get here. I am ready. My favorite daughter. Yep. <laughs> All right, everyone, wait. Mom. Dad, wait. Was it a great boat show? Yeah. Yes. I enjoyed myself. Did you spend a lot of money? Yes, indeed. But no jewelry for me this time. I got steak knives and an eighteen dudes pudding. I did get a filet knife. So what's your thoughts on the tall soup? No, I like it. <laughs> I wish I had more time to snoop around a little bit more. We were on the boat for a little bit now. Yeah, but I'm going to go with the engine room and all that. Yeah, a few will have time. Huh? To go in the engine? So what is the engine? That you get to from the hunger tower. I chose the engine. Where are we eating dinner? Ostein. Ostein Inn, a Bavarian restaurant in Mayo. Well, it took us about a half hour from the nap to get here. And we're in the beer garden. It brings us back to home. Yes. Which is Germany. <laughs> which is Oberammergau. Bavaria. Delicious. Mm. Sauerkraut special and pork chop. Smoked pork chop. I got the pork chop too, but I have potato salad and stuff. I got the bratwurst. October 1st, we did a quick weigh-in. I'm down one more pound. I'm at 167 for a total of 53 pounds. How are you doing? I'm still at 40 pounds down. I maintained this month. It was a bit of a difficult month for me. I had some back problems and some things going on. So life happens and I'm okay with it. And I'm just gonna pick myself up and do better next month. No judging here. Moments <laughs> in time is now out of the lamination phase. It is now completing the deck on and moving on to the assembly phase. These are the latest construction photos of our boat 
Moments in Time, SC673. As you can see, the deck is now fitted onto the hulls. The targa and the coach roof is now fitted. She is beginning to show her lines. The cockpit is coming along nicely. I am going to include a picture in picture to show what it's going to look like once completed. This is the saloon. This will be the main social area of the boat. We are now in the owner's cabin. You can see the night sky while laying in the bunk. We are now looking aft from the owner's cabin to the owner's head. This is the owner's head and if you look beyond you can see the port engine room. This is the starboard aft cabin. The washing machine will go into that opening. We are now in the forward starboard cabin. This is the starboard forward head. And finally, standing on deck, looking into the saloon. Moments in time is about 45% completed. It's getting close. Tony and I are really excited.